So, microphones. This is the most important part of your course. Literally, this will make or break your course and I do not suggest you to ignore that. Do not ignore this part. This is the most important part. If you are going to do any investment in your course creation or any content creation, to be fair, it is a microphone. Old gooseneck microphones or your headphone microphones or even your AirPod microphones and things like that, they won't work. Trust me, this will not work for your courses. You will need something dedicated. You will need something that can actually clearly record your voice without picking up a lot of outside noise. So let's discuss microphones and what you'll need to focus on while thinking about the microphones or while getting about the microphones. So let me give you a quick, very short crash course of how microphones work or what are the different types of microphones. So basically, in reality, there are two different types of microphones or at least that matters for you, for the consumer. First is condenser microphones, and second is the dynamic microphones. So condenser microphones are used because of their qual high quality. They can be a different shapes. I don't know if it's visible here. It's one of them is right here. This is a condenser microphone. But the condenser microphones have a very good pickup pattern and they can pick very clean voice and very clean volume. They are usually one of the most widespread types of microphones, but with a big downside is that they literally pick up everything. So if you have any noise, any background noise, computer humming, or maybe AC or anything like that, they are picking up everything. So you need a really good highly isolated room in order to record a good quality sound with a condenser microphone. To, to give you an example where they're used, uh, the condenser microphones are actually used in the sound recording studios where everything is basically very isolated and they need the highest quality possible. That's where they're using a condenser microphones. Dynamic microphones are a bit different. They are doing, they have a pretty high quality as well, but a bit lower than the condenser microphones. However, they're great at picking up only at very limited direction, and very limited distance. So they can actually pick up only your voice and nothing else outside. Or they can pick up everything outside, but it is not clearly audible and it is not, a, it's not leaving you a feeling of a bad quality. As an example, the dynamic microphones are used in concerts where you need to pick up only the voice of a singer and nothing else outside you don't need to pick up the sound of the musical instruments or even the speakers that you're blasting or to the concert that's where dynamic microphones are used when you're thinking whether you should buy condenser microphones or dynamic microphones know that the difference of the sound pickup between condenser and dynamic microphones are not as big as you might think there are differences but it is far more important to have a better room with better sound isolation only the most expensive dynamic microphones can actually isolate you from everything else if someone is speaking beside you and you hold the dynamic microphone and talk in it this speech will be also picked up it will be picked up less than in a condenser microphone but it will still be picked up but this the street noise but but uh, a distant street noise might not be picked up by the dynamic microphone and it will be picked up by condenser microphone so overall whether you should pick a dynamic microphone or a condenser microphone think of it like that if you have a budget and if you are living in a bit of noisy environment and you want as much sound isolation as possible and you cannot actually afford a separate room to record in or basically any kind of sound isolation, then get a dynamic microphone. It will cost you more to get a good dynamic microphone, but uh, uh, yeah, it will be a bit better. However, your sound quality will be a bit worse. If you can afford a bit of separate room and a bit of sound isolation, uh, and your budget is, well, okay, it's not that limited, but it's okay, but you can, and you can pick up the uh, condenser microphone. Condenser microphone will actually be much better and will give you the higher quality of your voice. And as for what brand you should pick up, well, Shure is, uh, it's S-H-U-R-E is one of the highest quality ones. And then there is Rode, which is the perfect middle ground, it's R-O-D-E. Scarlet is also great. There are a lot of larger brands that you can pick up the condenser microphones from. Just make sure this is a separate 
microphone that's completely separate microphone with a completely separate capsule this this is what you'll need to think about first however if you are very limited with the budget and you really don't want to spend a $50 minimum uh, on the microphone and yes $50 is a real minimum to get uh, any type of microphone condenser or dynamic then you should think of getting lavalier microphones and this is usually the choice of the majority of instructors i myself right now i'm using a lavalier microphone despite me being able to afford the condenser microphone and i'm getting a lavalier i have a lavalier microphone because it's actually easier to use you see this small thing is actually a lavalier microphone this uh, this is how small it is and actually and it actually has a clip right here and i'm actually clipping it to my chest and right now you're getting actually a sound from my chest basically it's not visible in the camera frame but if i'll stand up you can clearly see it it's it's actually clipped in right there like this specific microphone is actually a bit more expensive because it's actually wireless i'm actually connected with this transmitter and it's actually transmitting uh this my voice through to the camera directly but you can actually get the wired ones if you have a headphone jack in your phone or in your camera or in my on your computer whatever it is get a wired one and wired ones will cost you around 20 dollars and sometimes even less than that get a wired level ear microphones and it will be just it, it will just give you the best volume and it will give you the okay quality to actually start recording the courses the key point that a lot of instructors uh, actually gave to me and actually asked me to talk about that is that if you're recording anything on your computer and if you have your microphone connected directly to the computer meaning that to directly to the motherboard on the back side or on the front side you will get an interference from the computer itself which will deteriorate your quality of your microphone significantly yes it will deteriorate your quality significantly so it really doesn't matter what type of great microphone you are buying if you're connecting directly to a microphone jack of your computer you are going to lose a lot of quality if you want to record it better if you want to have a higher quality it's better to connect it to your phone and record your sound separately or connect it to your camera if you're using a dedicated camera or alternatively the most alternative way and well to be fair the most expensive way is to get an external sound card it will not cost you a lot of money still but it will give you a much much higher sound quality if well it, this is if you want still to uh, record on a computer key point in here is this that if you are connecting your computer if you're connecting your microphone directly to your computer you are going to lose quality and you are gonna lose it a lot you cannot even imagine how much quality you lose. And last but not least is the place where you're going to record your audio. And to be fair, it is far more important than any equipment that we talked about in this lecture. Yes, I kid you not. Even if you're going to get a thousand dollar microphone and record it in a bad audio environment, it will sound awful. Or rather, it will not sound for a thousand dollars, basically. It will not sound good. You need really need to have a place to record an audio. And well, you might say, "Oh, I cannot have, I cannot afford a studio." Don't worry. I'm not talking about studio. I'm talking about treating your room for recording audio. And let me explain what I mean by that. The key problem with an audio recording is that the sound is actually reflecting of the wall when you're talking. The sound is spreading in all the directions. Your microphone is in front of you or on your chest, it doesn't matter. The sound spreads in all the directions, reflects of the walls and comes back and you're gonna see, hear it in some type of echo. And in addition to the humming noise of the computer or AC or outside noise, it will deteriorate quality by a lot very quickly. And the biggest culprit of this voice bouncing is actually your floor. If you have a hard floor, you can have an echo in your room. So the best solution, the quickest solution for that is to actually have a rug on your floor. Yes, you, I kid you not, you cannot even imagine how much it will improve the quality of your sound if you have just a rug on your floor. The second is to not have your room walls empty. The more empty your room is, the more sound it will reflect from a flat surface. Because the flat surface is the large flat surfaces are actually reflecting the sound. So the more empty your room is, the bigger the echo will be and the worse your audio will sound. 
So try to get a room that is actually full or at least have walls full of stuff. Or maybe there are some shelves. Maybe there are some wall rugs. And in my case, I'm actually using a curtains. I'm actually have actually curtains hang on the walls just to break up the sound as much as possible. This will actually improve your audio quality by a lot. And last but not least here for the sound quality is to be in the point in the room where you are not in the middle and where you have something in front of you. So basically, if you have an empty wall in front of you, but it doesn't matter if you're recording on a laptop and you have an empty wall in front of you, your sound will reflect off that wall and come back. And it will sound like very small, tiny echo, which will decrease the quality. You don't need that. So what you need to do is to record on a place where you have a lot of stuff. For example, right here, you can see I have two screens. When I'm recording this year, the sound does not reflect of the wall because it's reflected of the screens. And screens are fairly close to me and it will not sound, it will not cause a sound deterioration. Right here in this direction, behind the camera, there are a lot of shelves. So it will not cause a, a sound deterioration as well. Right here, there's literally a large salt box that is blocking my sound. On this side, I have a large curtain that is blocking my sound as well. So basically, I don't have any empty space in front of me. This will help you a lot. However, if nothing will work, if you cannot find any rooms, if you cannot find any place to treat your sound the best, well, I'm gonna give you the tip uh, that won't be the best for everyone. And yeah, it's it sounds ridiculous, but it is literally producing the best, the best sound that you can get to record in a closet. No, I kid you not. I'm not kidding. I'm absolutely serious about recording in a literal closet filled with clothes. You see, the closet is actually a room, a very small room, which does not have a lot of space to reflect the sound from. And the only place where sound can go through is actually your clothing. And clothing is soft and it's not flat and it can act it actually absorb sound so much that it does not reflect of anything. I'm not joking. I'm, I'm very serious about that. Your closet is literally the best place to record your audio. And if you want the highest quality audio with any microphone that you have, the closet will, will give you that quality. And if you don't believe me, just get any microphone you can and record your sound in a closet and then record anywhere that you want and you will see the sound difference. This this is just an insane amount of difference. Well, I guess this will be it about the microphones. I literally told you everything that you need to know about microphone. Anything else basically is just redundant and not useful. So yeah, the key point is that the audio is the most important part of the course recording and you should treat it very seriously. So in the next lecture, we're gonna actually start to preparing our recording. So I'm gonna see you there. See ya.